dense blue fog settled over our puddled potato fields, a rancid odor of decay permeated the air. My brethren, the people of Roscommon, Galway and Cork. Uh, Cork. Is Cork right? Can you not pause so much? Just talk. Honey, this is my soliloquy for my one-man show, okay? And pauses are important. I mean, sometimes the silence is more important than the words. We should fuck. It's been eight and a half months. Uh, really? <clears throat> Has it been that long? No, it couldn't be. Wait, didn't you help me jerk off a help couple of months? Help you jerk off? That doesn't get cataloged in the sex dossier. I can't even believe I did that. Honey, come on. I went uh, downtown. Don't say downtown. We had a munch party. Definitely we... don't say munch party. Ew. I serviced your vagina on your birthday. No, I asked you to service my vagina on my birthday and you fell asleep watching Antique Roadshow. Okay, well. We have to fuck. Okay, if that's what you want. Would you hold my radiated hand if I was dying? Are you Larry? Or are you like a fearless fireman who rushed to the power plant in Pripyat? I'm Larry. I'm Larry, and you're the just, fireman you're just in, 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 in Chernobyl. I, All right, I'm dying. I would apply chapstick for Okay, I don't even Reed. know why I you asked you. You, know, you, tales? you wouldn't, you I, wouldn't do it. You would not hold my hand. Here's this woman, she's pregnant, and she rushes past the curtain disobeys the nurse's orders, and is reunited with her radiated husband and endangering herself and her child for love. You wouldn't do that. I don't even hold your hand in Whole Foods. That's true. I would slide my phone through the bottom part of the plastic sheeting. That's nice. We could text. You know, it's a horrible death. This is one of the worst ways you could die. You know that. To be alone and then disintegrating from the inside out. You're sloughing. You don't have to mansplain radiation poisoning to me. Explosive radioactive <sighs> diarrhea. And you're all alone. Would you hold my radiated hand? Yes, I would. But then you're going to die. Yes, I know. And I would do that because I'm a Donnelly and we show up and we're loyal. I don't want him to die alone. Every single disaster has been caused by old white men. That's a gross generalization. Uh, Deepwater Horizon, BP oil spill, the Hindenburg, Exxon Valdez. It's a lot of random moments of history. Just I, admit you don't, I know you don't know anything oh, about I know history. history. You know. Tiananmen Square. Okay. Bay of Pigs. I got it, oh. I got it. Who? comes to the goddamn door during a pandemic. Get your mask on. Thank you. No problem. I smell flowers too, all the time. Oh. What days do you work? What days do I work? Uh, I just set an intention for myself to ask eight unsolicited questions a day. Oh, well, you must do a lot of nice things for people to get all those fruit baskets. So. The baskets? Of, of fruit, yeah. What, do you have a secret admirer? <laughs> that secret admirer is me. Huh? It's, it's just my self-care. It's just sending a message like I matter, like what I do matters. Wow. Okay. Well, see ya. I, um, you're the real essential worker! Yeah. We should be throwing medals and trophies at you. 
Just throw a tip my way. What's your Venmo? Well, it's in the application. I salute you, Mr. Cantaloupe Express. My car gets stuck too. Be safe. Safe driving. Did you put on lip gloss for that fruity fucking delivery guy? No. No. Well, you were preening and posing when you answered the door. I mean, I mean, you made a total ass out of yourself. I'm supporting an essential worker. <laughs> he looks pretty damn hard, I imagine. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I mean, you haven't worked that hard yourself. Well, I no, mean, I haven't scrubbed the floors of McDonald's and right. eat McGriddles out of the garbage on your overtime. That's true. And what was your last job? Worked at that kiosk? You asked for maternity leave? And you don't have any kids? It was for my inner teenager, and my therapist called it groundbreaking. Your therapist? I'm an up-and-coming podcaster, and I have a myriad of podcasts in the works. I mean... Six to seven podcasts in the you're works. You're a dilettante. I mean, no one is sitting around waiting for you to put up a podcast. You're just kind of just... How do you know? I don't know, honey. You don't depend on a podcast. You can, you can afford to sit around all day just, I don't know, doing nothing. Because your grandfather invented Sanka. That's a good thing, right? Am I digging myself a hole here? Yeah. Okay, I apologize. I... You put raisin down the raisin bran, Larry. I need something. It's your side tenth cereal. box. I apologize. <sighs> Let's start the day over, huh? At eight Wanna? fifteen, sure. I have a group Zoom with my ex-boyfriend, so if you could just leave the house for an hour, um, I just want to feel free and not cock-blocked by you. <laughs> <laughs> 